geometry. So anyway, uh, today we're going to be doing 10 to 14. So these next five questions. So 10. If the line represented by y equal to negative 1 fourth x minus 2 is dilated by a scale factor 4 centered at the origin, what statement about the image is true? Well, let's think about this. So, negative 1 over 4x minus 2 would most likely look like this. So, that's negative 2. However, if you're dilating it by a scale factor of 4 centered at the origin, then it should still have the same y-intercept, but it should have a higher slope since you dilated it. So, logically, it should be 2. No, no, not 2, 4. I'm not sure if it is 4 because, of course, I haven't looked at the answers, but this is my hypothetical logical answer. So, 10 should be 4. And bonk. 11 and 12, respectively. So, 11. Square math, I don't know why they chose that name, totally not at all. I have a side length of seven inches. What three-dimensional object will be formed by continuously rotating square math around side AT? So, if you're rotating it around this side AT continuously, then you're getting a cylinder with a radius of 7 inches, which is 4. So 11 should be 4. 12. Now this one is really easy because 120 is one third of 360. So essentially, all you have to do is you 120 is 2 thirds, right? Of 360. So the shaded region should be two thirds of 360 because 120 is one third of 360. So now you just take two thirds and multiply it by the area formula. So that should just give you two thirds times 81 pi. So 81, 3, 27, that's 54 pi. You can do this trick with any angle. So that means that 12 is four. That's a lot of fours. Now 13. And quadrilateral, quadrilateral QRST, diagonals QS and RT intersect at M. Which statement would always prove quadrilateral, quadrilateral QRST is a parallel? So let's assume Q or S T is a parallelogram. So what would its properties be? Which one of these would be true? Well, T Q R and Q R S are supplementary. Well that's obvious, but that can be true in a rectangle too. Two. Q M is con oh wait, yeah. Q, S, and R, T. Okay. Q, M is congruent to S, M. And Q, T, uh, Q, T is congruent to R, S. So, well, that can also be true for a rectangle. So I would lean away from that one, even though it seems to make some sense. Three, Q, R is congruent to T S Q T is congruent to R S. Well, we don't know that they're parallel. And anyway, rectangles have this property as well. Q R is congruent to T S, and Q T is parallel to R S. Well, if Q T is parallel to R S, Q R is also parallel to T S. So. Personally, 4 makes the most sense to me, though it could also be another answer. So personally, for me, 13 should be also 4. 14. A standard-sized golf ball 
is it has a diameter of 1.680 inch uh, material used to, okay. So all we have to do is use the area formula for a circle, radius is just half the diameter. So 1.68, half it, you'll get 0 0.84 cubing. So 0 0.84 to the third power times four over three. Oh, uh, shoot. Answer. I accidentally entered four over 39 instead of four over three. So forgive me. So then multiply that by four over four divided by three. Okay. And now multiply it by pi. And now uh, that's uh, how many cubic inches it is. Now it weighs 0 0.6523 ounces per cubic inch. So now we just need to multiply what we got by 0 0.6523. 1 1.619, which is approximately 1.62, so 14 is 2, breaking our four streak just at the end. So thank you everybody for watching, and we'll see you in the next geometry problem.